Stay tuned at the end of this video, guys, for a little section that I'm gonna throw up strange trail camera finds. Uh, a couple things I'm just noticing on here that are absolutely weird, so stay and watch the end of the video and help me analyze some of this stuff, okay? Good morning, guys. Unfrequented World, Gary and Gage. I'm just out collecting trail cameras. Uh, I have to give you guys a quick update on unfrequentedworld.com. This video brought to you by me. Hey, I'm gonna sponsor my own video. I'll make it quick. Due to shipping constraints, I've had to make some changes on the website. If you guys look at the contact page, I have the shipping and order prices included now, okay? Shipping is blooming crazy. It's like $20 to ship an envelope. Because they're a bubble envelope, Canada Post is telling me they're a parcel, they're a package, because it won't fit through the envelope slot. So I'm now gonna offer digital download to a lot of you guys. I've had, I've already done it for guys in Britain, Australia, and uh, one in the States, okay? I know you won't get a signed print that way, but at least if you wanna support the channel and you like the artwork, you can get a print. There is a bonus to this. If you pay for the high res digital download, $30, same price, you can then print whatever you guys want. It, these files are big enough, done with uh, A7R3, a Sony camera. You can print a 24 by 36 canvas if you guys want, right? You're just gonna take that digital file, go to your local print shop and print whatever you like. Posters, canvases, prints, whatever, okay? So the digital is an option. I'm not gonna lie, guys, it's way freaking easier for me to send you a digital file. If you order prints that I have to sign and mail, I have to go across town, pick them up at the print shop, then I have to go across town to the other side of town to mail them. I'm probably making $4 on a print and yeah, whatever. So that's the, I'm now offering digital as well. But if you're diehard, and I do understand guys, if you want a signed matted print, I will ship them. They are expensive, okay? So prices are on the website, everything on the website, so. And I want to say huge thanks. I've had massive support already, guys. Really appreciate it, okay? Let's get on with the Bigfoot video. Look what Gage just found. So <laughs> it is grouse season, and from the looks of it, our fox is out grouse hunting as well. So she got a partridge here. So the fox has been as successful as I have. I only have one partridge this season too, so good on her. Apple update, they're still there, they haven't moved. There's a huge flock of blackbirds moving through the forest here behind me today. Everything's starting to migrate. Last night we had a fire and the geese are all flying over south over south, overhead south, except one group, they were turned around, they were heading north. I don't know where those ones were going, but <laughs> everything's starting to move, guys. Gage has been loving the new Ciron. I take him for about a 10K run every morning and he just can't get enough. So we went out five days in a row and yesterday he was limping around the house and I thought, well, maybe he hurt himself, maybe that's too far. And I got the bike out and wanted to go in the afternoon by myself and he whined and cried and chased me down the driveway. He, he just what, he doesn't know when to quit this guy. This morning he got up and he's fine. So I think he was probably just stiff, too much exercise maybe, but uh, he loves the Ciron almost as much as I do. Well, that does not look natural. What happened here?
What do you smell, buddy? No, no. Oh, hey. We'll never know. I'm assuming that maybe a little buck scraped that up and rubbed that up and then uh, it's kind of rotted over time. Definitely didn't just happen on its own. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Look what I just found. I forgot we had this here, guys. I actually made a hide for a trail camera last year. I chainsawed out this nice little square and we put a camera in there. We'll have to clean it out. I'm gonna take that and move it and after we collect the trail cameras today and I recharge all the batteries and we reset them, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide them a little better this time. I'm gonna put them in things like this again just to see if we have any more luck. Probably not, but we already, I took the time to take the chainsaw and make this. Let's use it. I've been thinking a lot about the trail cameras lately. I get a ton of footage that I just skip through because it's hours and hours of footage. If I set out a trail camera, we might get 400 times where the camera goes off and there's nothing there. There might be a branch or something that's setting it off. I'm wondering how many times is there something there that we can't see that I'm just skipping through these. Um, and what I'm pertaining to what I'm, what I'm wondering about specifically are transparent beings. I wonder if we've ever caught, you see this on different channels all the time, right? See-through figures or shimmering, you know, like predator style, caught on phone cameras, trail cameras, whatever. I wonder if we've ever had anything like that here. And because I'm just skipping through 200, sometimes I'll grab a whole row of 100 that I know there's nothing in except the branch moving or I assume it's just a branch moving and uh, I delete it. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna start being more careful. I mean, if we've had so many hundreds of different positions that we've used over the last five years for the cameras, if, if that's a real thing, I'm betting we probably have caught something like that and, and just haven't even noticed. What I need to do is find a way to upload all of the trail camera footage to an FTP site or something and just say, hey guys, go through this when you have time and get all of your eyes going through these clips because trust me, it gets pretty boring watching the same static scene 150 times, 40 second clips in a row. It doesn't take long. An hour of doing that and you kind of, you're not really paying attention to what's on the screen anymore. So if I had a hundred people helping me look at these things, maybe we could find something. So like I say, today I'm just out collecting the trail cameras. I'll put any cool footage we get uh, in this video. I'm also gonna be out probably this afternoon going to do some fall photography. The colors are peak right now. Some of these back roads are just absolutely amazing and I have to go do it before the leaves fall. And they're gonna, within the next week here, it's gonna start, uh, we're gonna start losing leaves. So I gotta go get some beautiful photos while I can. Oh my God. I found him. He's right there. It's Bigfoot. <laughs> what? 
What in the world is that? There's a Bigfoot face on this tree. <laughs> it's made out of moss. Well, hello. And then another big leaner over here. It's wedged between a maple and then tucked behind two more trees here. Another strange little scene here. Look at this uh, poplar is freshly snapped. And right beside it, we've got a, a pull down. It's being held down by this, which is leaning. I don't know where that came from. Just leaning against the tree here. Well, I mean, hey, there's actually all kinds of weird stuff. And there's this mess right behind it, so I don't know. There's one more thing I want to touch on before we get to the trail camera footage and that is YouTube itself. About a month ago they sent out notices to every YouTuber that they were turning on ad notifications on all of our uh, videos. I used to have one ad at the beginning of every video. Trust me that sucks in terms of revenue um, and I was like okay fine they're gonna turn it on. I have to tell you as a YouTube watcher as well as a YouTuber I freaking hate the new format. You can't get into a video. Every four minutes they're putting an ad up. Can I afford to turn it off? Uh, no, because I suspect since I allowed them to do that, my channel has taken off in terms of views and shares and everything like that. I don't think YouTube shares your channel if you're unwilling to put the maximum amount of ads that they allow on there, which is not fair to any of us. We don't get any say in what ads go or how many. And I actually wrote them a note saying, as a watcher of YouTube, I can't stand how frequent the ads are. So I think all you guys should do the same thing. And we should all complain. You know what? One every eight minutes or something I think would be reasonable. Every four minutes you're just getting into the video you're watching and there's another ad, right? That's right. Gary is a YouTuber, but he's also just a guy who enjoys watching YouTube. Okay, I'm going through trail camera footage and there's something on here. I'm gonna sound absolutely nuts, but I don't know what it is. I was looking at clips that seemed to be empty. I wanted to show you guys just an example. Here's what I talk about where they get set off all the time and there's nothing in there. And then all of a sudden, something appears in the middle of the screen. It's flying across to the left and it disappears. It appears and disappears in the middle of nowhere. And it's very fast. <laughs> and I'm gonna say what this looks like 
It looks like a little fairy. I don't know what this thing is. I'm gonna show you guys the clip. I'm gonna try to slow it down, stabilize it. I'll show you whatever I get, but you guys take a look at this. It's weird. <laughs> And the first thing I thought of when I saw that little thing fly across there was the video clip where we had the leaf that turned and folded down and it looked like there was actually something there and I was like, little people in the bush? I don't know. Gary's really losing it now. <laughs>